Hey guys, how you all doing? Hope you're doing well. It's Watson here and welcome back to another video. Yes. 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 It's not that exciting, is it? Well, it kind of, it kind of is and it isn't exciting. It, it depends how you look at it. The other day, I released the first episode of something that I think is definitely going to continue. The It's Watson podcast. So, I just want to talk about that for a little bit before I get into the main aspect of this video today. So yeah, guys, the It's Watson podcast, episode one. Let's talk about that for just a moment and the origin of where this all came from, the ideas behind it. So, first of all, the podcast idea came from college really so it was a college project to create a podcast and they said upload it to youtube you know if you have a youtube channel put it on youtube that's how they want you to hand it in to us for this assessment um so i thought well let's combine two things here you know kill kill two birds with one stone let's do more college work, get that assignment done, but let's also bring it into the channel and let's make this an actual thing. So the idea was, let's do episode one, it can be episode one, there could be no more, it can literally just be that, that could be just watch some podcast, just one one off sort of one time thing. Or if it does well, if it if it goes if people support it, let's carry on doing it. So released it on Sunday the 9th of February, thinking, why would I release it? It's just really bad and it's just like, oh, that's a bit uh, uh or it people actually really like it. And I've released a trailer, I've released a trailer beforehand, people were getting like hyped for it, and I was like, is this gonna go a bit mental or what? And then I released a podcast and then within like a day or what I've got messages of people going do an episode two do more episodes do a special at insomnia do a live podcast can I be on the podcast can we do an episode together can we do this do this do that it's really good just literally comments comments after comments messages messages after messages and I was like wow wow, it, 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 it's done it. And I thought, well, great start to the year, let's do this, release this project, let's go for it. So, I'm gonna work on a few things first because obviously this was a college project. I didn't use loads of high-tech equipment, I literally just used the onboard mics on my camera um, to capture the audio. That's one reason why it's a bit quiet. So obviously if I'm doing an episode two and more episodes, I'm gonna, get some proper desk mics per person. Um, maybe change the set a bit, better lighting, better cameras, whatever. Just go from there, see what we can do. So I'm not saying it's gonna be like next week, every Sunday, every Friday, whatever, we release a podcast yet, but I'm gonna work on it. So it probably won't be like for another month or something, I'm not 100% sure. But I'm going to work on kind of getting some equipment together, getting some space together, getting something sorted, getting some episodes planned, and then they'll be filmed, edited by myself and everything like that. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. I'll keep you guys all updated in the loop of what's going on with the It's Watson podcast. But I'm just letting you guys know, there will be more to come. 100%. day in February and uh yeah it's pretty sunny not bad I mean it's actually quite cold but it, it's sunny so it, it looks warm if that makes sense I don't really know what the point of that was but yeah it, it, it looks sunny it's really cold though it was 
snowing last night, apparently. But anyway, guys, the main aspect of this video and the title of it is about a setup. Again, I know. So yeah, that is my setup there, and it's not about my setup at all today. It's about your guys' setups. What was that? Let's try again. Yeah, it's not about my setup at all today. It is about your guys' setups. And what I mean by that is, I put a tweet out on Twitter a few days ago saying, everyone send me pictures of your setups for a video. Here's mine, if you're interested, and a picture of my setup. So I got a few replies. I'm not going to do all of them. I'll just do a few, though, run through them, and give it my uh, kind of opinion on your, your setup. So pictures coming on screen now. Toasties setup. Hmm. So, setup, cable management is insane, like, I can obviously see the plugs and a few cables going everywhere, but, all in all, that is pretty well managed. I like the GT Omega chair, the RGB lighting, um, definitely that Corsair headphone stand, I'm looking at getting one of them myself, they're, honestly, I don't know where I'd put it on my desk, but, they are insane. Mouse mat, mic, yeah, I think that's a pretty, pretty Corsair, Corsair setup, but it, it, it is good, I, I do like that, and the cable management is pretty good. Um, elite Gamers setup, cable management probably could do a bit of work, but cable management isn't everything in terms of some people, personally, I like the cables to be neat, it kind of, if you've got a clean setup, if it looks nice, it, it makes you work kind of better in a way. Like, if you've not got cables running everywhere, it's not messy. Clean workspace makes you make some absolutely awesome work. If you've got a messy workspace, you, it's going to make a mess of your work, if that makes sense. That's kind of how I look at it. Clean workspace, amazing work to create. Messy workspace, you're going to get yourself into a bit of a pickle. But, um... I like the Mac, that is pretty cool. I got a good Justin Mallow wallpaper there, I think. That is awesome. Um, yeah, I like the desk, that's pretty cool. So you've got like a little bit of your keyboard, you could write some bits down on there, whatever. Um, and then you've got the higher bit with your, with your Mac, that's pretty cool. And the KRKs. KRKs are some sick studio monitors. They are insane. I want to get some myself, hopefully. Um, they are, the sound from them is mental, absolutely insane. Next we've got, um, it's Josh's setup, and uh, yeah, nice PC mate, nice, um, nice monitor that is, uh, that mouse mat though, I, I like, where, where's the keyboard at though? I, I, I like the mouse mat, you know, just kind of falling off a bit, um, but, uh, yeah, it's uh, interesting. The, uh, I mean, yeah, not um, no, no comments really on that. Uh, we got Captain Backond next. I think that's how you say your name. I'm not sure. Sorry if I got it wrong. Um, that is a cool set. So you've got three monitors like me laid out like the kind of like pyramid sort of way I like to call it. So you've got one in the middle and two like that. And you've got one on top. That is pretty cool. Should I do that to mine? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out. That is that is cool. I do quite like that. I presume you're a streamer because you've got the stream deck. You've got OBS up and everything like that. So I presume you're a streamer. That's pretty cool. Um, I like how you've got your like canvas art of your logo behind. That's pretty cool. Makes it unique. PC looks absolutely dope down there. Um... Yeah, I like that little like plaque thing where you've got all your AirPods on. That looks really cool. I do like that. You got your Apple Watch. Is that like does that charge? Is that like a wireless charger for all your stuff? Like you got your Apple Watch, AirPods. That looks really sick. Really nice setup. That is really clean. And the final one I'm going to do for today is Gorks's setup. It, it he says it took him ages to build this setup. Like literally ages and I can see why like he's put so 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 much effort 
into the setup. There you go. It's 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 just a a a, a chair. It's I mean, I, I'm I'm gonna give you nine out of ten because it's not a GTA Mega chair. Uh, but I mean, it's got it's got five wheels. It 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 does it does the trick. It 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 looks really comfy. Um, maybe you had a bit of RGB light into it. Um, send me a picture once you've done that. I think that would finish off your setup really nicely. Cool then, that does it for the setup reviews. Um, yeah, little thing I thought I'd do. I was just interested because I'm obviously in the process of wanting to change a bit on my setup. Um, I'm gonna get myself a GTA Mega chair. I'm gonna do some upgrades to the PC. And I maybe, I don't know what to do with the monitors. I'm either thinking after seeing that one of them setups there with the monitor like on top of that one, that looks pretty cool. Or do I get a TV up there? Or do I put wall art up there? Scrap the three monitors and get two big ultra wide monitor because I don't think I need three if you've got two ultra wide because you can split it on one so I'm just considering a few options on what I could do because if I don't know if any of you guys edit on here if you're editing especially in Premiere Pro to have an ultra wide monitor with your timeline stretched out you've literally got your full timeline across one whole monitor you don't have to like scroll over or anything so you can literally see your whole edit timeline which I think it's just a massive, massive bonus for anyone editing. You can see your whole whole timeline without having to pinch in, pinch it. Just literally, it works amazingly. So maybe, maybe one of them. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll uh, have a think about it in the near future. This one's actually out of action at the moment. Not not because it's broken. It's just because I upgraded the graphics card. And one of the issues is I'll quickly show you. So. The new graphics card has HDMI ports at the front. HDMI ports at the top, sorry. So my old one used to have them down here. So like obviously it wasn't touching the top of the case. They were like here. So yeah, your HDMI would just go straight in like that. Uh, but the HDMI there kind of touched like this little ledge there, which is really irritating. So you can't actually fit them in which is really annoying because it's slightly bigger than that little gap there it just doesn't go in you're like what so what i did is i hope i'm hoping this works because if it doesn't it's kind of a bit of a disaster and waste of like the amount of money i spent on it i ordered three three meter hdmi cables so one two three and then three ports in there so they literally go straight from that up there no extension to whatever but the end is like really, really skinny, so it's like a really slim fit. So I'm hoping they are slim enough to fit in the HDMI port between the top of the port and that gap. That way, they'll go in. If they're not, then I don't really know what I'm going to do. Has any of you guys had any issues with this before with any graphics cards where you can't get the HDMI in because of the case? Like, I don't really want to change the case, but am I going to have to change the case? Is the graphics card not suitable? Is there any way I can adapt it? Can I? What can I do? If any of you guys had this issue before, let me know because it's kind of annoying me. Hopefully this HDMI cables work, but I'm not 100% sure. Hopefully they do though. But anyway guys, I got... Uh, blah, 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 oh my god, what is going on? But yeah, anyway guys, I do hope you guys did go ahead and enjoy today's video. I did really, really, really enjoy making it. I'm really, really looking forward to the rest of this year, getting back into YouTube, going out, doing some crazy stuff in these videos. I've got some awesome vlogs lined up for you guys, and hopefully the launch of the It's Watson podcast is going to be insane. But yeah, guys, with all that being said, hope you did go ahead and enjoy the videos yourself. Drop a like rating and a subscribe if you are new to the channel or whatever. But yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Stay awesome, and I'll catch you guys all in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Au revoir.